Checkmate is a piano concerto based on a chess match that was played in 1996 uh, in Philadelphia by Garry Kasparov versus Deep Blue. So at the time, Garry Kasparov was the world champion chess player, and Deep Blue was a computer that was made by IBM, uh, designed specifically to, uh, to play chess. And it was the first time in history that a computer beat a world champion in a tournament. The concerto is composed of six themes, and each of these themes are representing one of the chess pieces. So the theme of the king is really solemn and pompous, and you will hear the brass play a kind of medieval chord progression punctuated by the timpani. The theme of the queen is dark and dramatic, and the upper string play a long and lyrical melody, and the lower string play a waltz rhythm with short staccato notes. The theme of the night is energetic and heroic. It's inspired by music of Western movie, so you will hear the melody played by the trumpet and the flute, and you will also hear the woodblock percussion evoking a galloping horse. Now, the piece that we know in English as the bishop is really interesting because in different language and in different culture, it evokes a different character. As for example, in German, the bishop is a messenger. In Eastern Europe, the bishop is an archer. In Russian, it's an elephant. So, for my piece, I choose the French version of the bishop because, as you've noticed, uh, with my accent, I'm a francophone. So in French, it's, we call it the fou du roi, so it's a court jester, uh, a joker. So this is why the music that you will hear to represent the bishop is very joyful and cartoonish. The clarinet plays a jazzy melody, and the string plays a pizzicato accompaniment. Now, the rook is also known as the castle or the tower in French. And for this piece, for this theme, the rook, I'm trying to evoke a siege tower. So siege tower in the Middle Age were huge towers that were built on wheels and that were pushed by the soldiers for storming castle. So this is why the melody is played by the low winds, playing very low and heavy and grounded melody, while the timpani plays a driving and pulsing rhythm. The theme of the pawn, well, as you know, the pawn can only move one or two square at a time, so the theme is very short. It's just a little arpeggio played by the woodwind while the, while the uh, snare drum plays a military rhythm. As you can notice, there's something missing on the board, and this is the opponent. So just like in a chess match where you have two opponents, the black pieces versus the white pieces, in my piece, it's a concerto, so you will also have two opponents, which is the piano versus the orchestra. So on the screen, you will see the animation of the actual game that was played by Gary Kasparov versus Deep Blue, where Deep Blue plays the white pieces and Gary Kasparov plays the black pieces at the bottom of the board here. And when you will see the white pieces move, you will hear its corresponding theme played by the orchestra. And when you will see a black piece move, you will hear its corresponding piece played by the piano. So it's really like film music, you know? When you see Darth Vader, you hear the theme of Darth Vader. And when you see Luke Skywalker, you hear the theme of Luke Skywalker. 
So you can see my concerto a little bit like a soundtrack for that specific chess game where the orchestra plays the theme of the white pieces moved by deep blue and where the piano plays the theme of the black pieces moved by Kasparov.